In the upcoming 3.0 version, we've put a strong focus on enhancing studio lighting tools, and here's what's been improved. In plain mode, you can adjust the colors at the top and bottom of the environment. While this map provides uniform and smooth lighting, it may be a nice background for a custom studio lighting setup. Just open the Library tab and drag HDR light presets directly into the scene to add bright lights to your setup. If you're using light presets from the library and notice some lights looking blurry, you can now adjust the map resolution. Just switch to Custom Mode in the Environment settings and set the resolution in pixels. Click the Resize button to apply the changes. You'll find basic HDR image filters in the same window below, including a special blur filter for spherical maps and a monochromatic filter, which are often used during lighting setup. You can now animate not only the environment parameters, but also individual lights drawn on the map. Here's how it works. First, create a new map light by clicking the plus button in the environment widget. Position the light as you want and set its color, intensity, and size. Then go to the animation widget, find the environment, keyframes tab, and click the plus button to capture the current state as a keyframe. Then move the light over the map. Adjust its color, size, or intensity, and click the plus button again to capture the new state as a keyframe. On the timeline, click play to see how the light source moves and changes over time. This way you can create dynamic studio lighting effects with ease. Setting up lighting is now more intuitive and efficient. A plus button next to the chrome ball lets you add a new map light. To the left of this button, there's another quick button to show or hide all added map lights from the camera. Even when hidden, these lights will still illuminate the scene. Dragging light presets from the library tab has also been streamlined. When you drop a light into the scene, it will automatically position itself so that its highlight lands precisely where you dropped it. All these features will be available very soon in Light Tracer Render 3.0. Try it and let us know what you think.